Well, that headband he wears for one thing, <laughs> and the dope he smokes for another. Well, first of all, uh, Willie's loved because he's a great person. He's a great man. He's honest, he's fair, he's, he's very generous. He'll sing with anybody that wants him to. He'll just do anything. He's got a good heart. But his style is absolutely amazing. And his songs are great, his picking's great. So he's just one of those people in this world that's just a true, true artist. Well, that headband he wears for one thing. <laughs> And the dope he smokes for another, and the songs he writes for another, and the fact that he's just down to earth, good old boy, everybody relates to him. Uh, high class people relate to him because of his true musical gift. He can sing anything. He just has a Frank Sinatra album out now, and the Stardust album, so you know he can sing anything from On the Road Again to any, any choice of songs, but Willie is just likable. He is just an all-American boy. He's from Texas and he acts like it. <laughs> well, I saw Willie for the first time when I first moved to Nashville in 1964. Willie had just moved here as well. And it was long before he had the hairdos and all that, we worked for, uh, a publishing company called Combine uh, Music. And Fred Foster owned uh, Monument Records and Combine Music. And he had a whole floor downstairs where new writers like Chris Dobson, Willie Nelson, and me, and Ray Stevens, several people that would get together and write. So I got to know Willie uh, in those very, very early days when we were just songwriters and we got to be friends. We were both on Monument Records and we both went to RCA. Our whole lives have been kind of parallel. And so the last time I saw Willie was just recently and he sang on my uh, Christmas album uh, last year. But uh, he's just, he's just great. I just love him. I hope he lives forever and he will in his music. <laughs>